Hey everyone, it's Dominic from the Primetime Treasure eBay store and YouTube channel. It's Friday night, a little bit past midnight. I have uh, made major progress on what I have now referred to as Project Primetime. Project Primetime began last Friday night in which I finally just decided I had had enough and I had to address the box clutter that was just taking over Primetime Treasure Headquarters. Not only here in the downstairs area, the basement area, but also in the garage area. I mean, it just completely taken over. There were basically two areas that were essentially turned into mountains of boxes that were practically attacking me whenever I walked past them. So uh, if you saw the two videos in which I addressed this last Friday and last Saturday, you know what I'm talking about. If you have not seen it, make sure you go down in the description section because I will have the links there where you could check it out. Now, my mission last week was to basically get rid of the boxes that were outside in the garage area, get rid of them and move my comic boxes over there so that I could have storage space for that. And I did that. Then the other purpose was to basically um, integrate the best boxes from the garage with the best boxes right over here, which I'm going to show you what the space looks like in a second, and um, just keep the best boxes and nest the uh, smaller boxes within the bigger boxes so I could save space. So I did that, and it looked much better. But while I was doing it, I had an epiphany, if you remember. I said, you know, what I really need to do is I need to find a way to store these boxes flat. And so my initial plan was to go out and buy a storage shelf, which I did. I bought it on Sunday. If you follow me on my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center, um, you saw that I posted that I went out on Sunday. I bought the storage shelf. So today, Friday, was the first time I really had a chance to, you know, Put some time into it and put it together which i did uh and what i wound up doing my plan was to just get a whole bunch of flat boxes and store them all flat because the ebay boxes that i get such as the 10 by 8 by 6s those i am able to store flat and because that's how they come i had another promotional order and um, i used that to get some bigger boxes which just came in the other day but what i realized when I started pricing out how to, you know, just basically purchase all different size boxes, it just was cost prohibitive. It wasn't going to make sense, and I wouldn't be able to store all those different size boxes. So what made sense, what made the most business sense, was to take the boxes that I already had to flatten them out and store them by size. So I'm going to show you right now what this actually looks like. So over here is the section now i'm going to pan out of the view for a second so you can see it but this is the storage shelf now you remember this was all box chaos uh last week and here we are from top to bottom all the way down this area is completely free of clutter now i mean i am so happy i cannot even tell you i mean a lot of this stuff that you see here was just spread out into all different spots. Like right now, I have my um, nine by 12 clasp envelopes right up here, which I use for my comics. And then right down here, I have my 10 by 13s. So I'm happy about that. They're all in one spot. Over here, I have my, um, my you know, basically my uh, bubble, um, you know, envelopes here. Uh, they're clasp envelopes, but they have like a little bubble protector inside. Those are ones I either pick up at estate sales or, uh, you know, I save them from Amazon when they come in if they're not too beat up. Over here, I have my poly mailers. So I have my 9x12s and I have my 24x24s. These were all spread out in different areas. Now they're nice and consolidated in one spot. Very easy for me to reach being as tall as I am. Not a problem. Uh, over here, I'm just going to turn around a bit. Uh, you're going to see that I've got my little uh, i highly recommend these by the way these are these little ebay uh bubble air mailers that i like to use i i put shirts in them they're great for t-shirts so uh, i like to ship them out in that there's a bigger size that they have that i haven't picked up yet but that's next on my uh on my to-do list i'll uh, swing this around again here um what i've got over here highly recommended these are the priority padded flat rate envelopes Highly, highly recommended. Anything you can fit in here, $6.90. Very flexible. Order them through the USPS uh, um, website. Down here, I've got the um, 
basically the cardboard size ones, which I don't use those too much, but I got them just in case. And then down here, I have 12 by 15 inch uh, clasp envelopes, what I use, which is what I use to send out uh, treasury size comic books. They're like really huge oversized comics. Then over here, and this is what initially led to my epiphany. You could see here, these are my eBay boxes, my 10 by 8 by 6s. So there's about 30 of them here, and when I saw them laying flat like this, this is what gave me the idea to uh, basically do this. Plus, it gave me a thought. I um, remember watching uh, Craigslist Hunter. Uh, he's one of my favorite YouTubers to watch. You definitely check him out if you have not yet. Um, basically, he I remember seeing he had a system kind of set up like I do right here, but the thing is, he has a massive warehouse, uh, you know, in his brick and mortar store. I don't have that. So what I'm trying to do basically is replicate a brick and mortar in my home uh, in, in, in terms of the operational aspect of it, not the sales stuff. I'm not selling stuff out of my home, literally, like I don't have customers coming in here, but I'm trying to replicate the actual operations and procedures part, you know, in a home business kind of setting. So, uh, uh, that's what I'm doing. These uh, other ones here that I have are just kind of random boxes that I had that were about this 10 by 8 by 6 size. So they just fit right here. And I have those that I can use as well. This, these are my cardboard pieces that I have. Um, so I took them off of this top uh, mantle over here, which now you can see is decorated with all sorts of um, um, you know, comic and kind of pop culture stuff. I just picked up this uh, Clint Eastwood the other day. I love it. This is so awesome. So we're going to read, me and my Mrs. Primetime are going to re redecorate this entire area. So that's another part of Project Primetime coming in the near future because this is what you're looking at when you watch my videos when I sit at the table across the way. So I want to make this a much more pleasurable viewing experience so you no longer have to look at garbage bags and um, you know, we got rid of that last week and, and cardboard and stuff like that. So these I use to protect my comic books right here. And, um, you know, anytime I just need a random piece of cardboard to grab for something, I have this right here and I could cut it down to size. Uh, down here, I now have my tape stored right here. So if I run out of tape for my tape roll, boom, I just go over right here, grab it. I've got my three inch tape roll here. And then uh, over here, I have my uh, two inch tape roll you can see back there as well. Uh, I also have these little uh, mailing tubes that I like to use. These are basically, um, if you didn't see this little trick that I do to use these for mailing tubes, I basically take um, when the bubble wrap rolls, um, basically are used up i just take this core and i save it and i use it to ship things like bottles and stuff right in here so I'll just save a few of these to the side i've got them right here and um you know just store them nice and upright so so that's a good thing i have that uh in terms of my um uh, my the other boxes that were all basically taking up this entire area and it was still chaos even when i had nested all of it um, these are basically my square size ones, and what I did was I organized them from large to small uh, and just moved up that way. So this whole thing is filled. And then down here, I have rectangular sized ones. So I, I know now, you know, which is which, and again, from, from the biggest size all the way to the smaller size. Down here, I have my priority envelopes. You may wonder why I have it all the way down there on the bottom. Honestly, I really don't use them all that much. I use them once in a while. They are helpful to have. Uh, the regional boxes I've got here, regional A, regional B, um, and according to size. So there's two sizes for, the, for each regional, and I've got them organized right there. So I could quickly tell with this system when I'm running out. I've got my small flat rate priority boxes there and some medium sized ones as well. So uh, I'm really, really, really happy. You may wonder why it is that I have uh, some of these boxes here that are still assembled. I do have a little stack left because with these, uh, I really can't break these down well because these come with like a little clasp on it right there. And I, if you see right there, it just, the way these boxes are designed, you can't really break them down. They're not really designed to do that. I mean, you can, but it's a real big pain in the neck to put them back together. Plus, uh, I basically use them to store some real tiny little boxes in there that I might need. And it doesn't look messy, doesn't look neat. So, I mean, sorry, it does look neat. It doesn't look messy. And so I'm very happy that uh, I still have this kind of set up here. If I just need a box over here, just limit it to one stack then I could grab it. Some of these um, 
you know, longer boxes that are flat. I want to keep some of those because you never know when you might need something like for like a board game or something really long like that. Those don't break down too well either. So I like to just uh, keep them like that. And for um, really kind of long boxes that are, um, you know, rectangular but deep. I basically what I did was I just put them right back there and they're uh, basically laying vertically so uh, they're hidden kind of out of the way for some bigger pieces of cardboard that I like to use for you know bigger signs that I ship out I've got those right over there so um, basically uh, that's pretty much it I mean it is all set now this is now a much more efficient system I mean when I walk in you know to this area it's just such as you could see I mean look how much nicer it is look at that nice and open and easy to just walk into it just feels like it's just like a breath of fresh air now to walk into this room I'm very excited uh, I got rid of that dingy rug that was on the floor too so I need to get a new rug a nice new area rug here so really going to just upgrade now you can see back there there's some uh, basically additional uh, mess in terms of totes and stuff that needs to be organized that's going to be a new part of the project uh, prime time is to fix that whole area up i basically want to have uh, you know basically a chair where i could sit in when i'm doing my videos and there's a lot of other things that uh, you're going to see over time that i'm going to uh, basically uh, just upgrade and um, you know, basically just, you know, make this more of a, you know, real kind of business feeling type of atmosphere in here. Just make it feel much more professional. I also, you know, wanted to do this video because I want to do this as just a way to inspire people who are going through maybe a rough patch where, um, you know, you have a situation in your home that it's getting out of control and it's getting chaotic. And I wanted to show you what mine was really not like not pretend that you know everything's always neat and clean and um, you know everything's always perfect because you know it's not things could get out of control sometimes especially you know if you're ironically if you're you know being pretty successful and you're focusing on a lot of the successes then other things like this like box cutter could tend to um pile up but you've got to get it under control because if you don't you're not going to be able to function properly and it's going to mess your business up so I hope this is an inspiration to some people to, um, you know, if you saw what I did over the last two weeks, that you can do it too. Go out there, get it done. Let me know if you did something like that or if this inspired you to get your get your uh, area together, wherever it is. It doesn't have to be in a basement. It could be in a living room or garage, anything. Get that stuff together. You could do it. You don't have to do it all in one day or two days. Remember, this took me over, you know, uh, two weeks essentially I mean I couldn't I wasn't working on it every day but that's how long it took me with my other full-time job I just can't get to this kind of stuff during the weekday so I had a reserve a Friday night a Saturday night and even last Sunday going out and getting the um, this storage shelf to put together today so uh, fortunately I had some free time that I could do this and as I move on to other kind of uh, projects I'll let you know but uh, basically just wanted to pass this on to you. If you want other tips, check out my other videos. There's over 225 videos to help you with your reselling business. Come to my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. The link is down below. There's still a few days to get in on the uh, free uh, lighting kit uh, giveaway. That will be Monday night, 5 p.m. Eastern time that that ends. So make sure... Uh, you come check that out. There will be a live uh, drawing for the winner at my new Instagram channel. That's prime underscore time underscore treasure. So make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. And I'll see you all at the next video. Take care, everybody.